This fourth edition of Sold Out Souls SARS-2 COVID-19 Simple Truths Ignored was released on Kindle, Amazon, and Barnes & Noble, December 21st, 2021. The first was released before I got on a plane to return from my last frontline ICU assignment during the pandemic, February 2021. 1,000 PDFs alone have been distributed for free, and I have directly helped over 4,000 people and personally discussed these methods with hundreds of provider colleagues since 2021, who they helped hundreds to thousands each recover from COVID. People are directed to freely send it along I started writing this book in June 2020 after seeing the disease process and troubleshooting how to fix it while other methods had been failing. I listened to Dr. Vlad Zelenko and Dr. Peter McCullough and gained further insight into treatment methods. Based on what I had seen, my extensive knowledge in nursing, instructing over 200 nurses in 16 years working in intensive care, I was fed up with the there is nothing we can do or we can only do this mentality. It's called practice of nursing and medicine for a reason. Troubleshoot, find potential solutions, critically think about it, and try it. The theory is how evidence is produced to provide evidence-based practice for others in the future. This was prevented, shunned, discounted, and censored. My YouTube contributions from 2012 as a nurse educator remain on my channel until the scamdemic, when I attempted to upload the contents here, which was immediately deleted and given a strike. Amazon does let me sell the book online, but they refuse to let me to let me advertise it for the violations of community standards, for which I have the screenshot. Three keywords, COVID, treatment, and survive. I'm hoping this material, even if you haven't read it before, will piss you off and take action. We cannot let something like this. The big takeaway of the text is knowledge and not just in treating COVID and respiratory disease. I include history, logical thinking, natural law, and observations, which I've gladly see other repeat more often in the past year. Nature gives you rights, not amendments. The amendments legally protect you. Give up your rights for some illusion of safety promised by the government. If you haven't noticed, they haven't cared about us in a long time. We are just leveraged stock certificates and cash flow base. It doesn't matter that I have five degrees in nursing, contributed to multiple textbooks on pharmacology, drug calculations, and nation and assessment, and wrote test questions for nurses and, and physicians to pass their exams. When I was a travel nurse back during the pandemic to help, I was treated as the FNG freaking new guy. And one occasion, my skills were only valuable to go sit 12 hours overnight with a patient and do nothing but work. I knew early on there had to be something to help with this disease process, just like SARS-1 in 2003 when I entered healthcare. The polarized thinking, or there's nothing we can do, or this is the only thing we can do, irritated me. Guidelines and protocols are just that, but those are frameworks, and nowhere does it say that is all you can do. If you want mustard on your burger, you would add it, right? The loss of critical thinking and severe cognitive dissonance astounded me beyond the other crazy stuff during 2020 we all witnessed. Sure has been a long two weeks to flatten the curve, right? Four years. Everyone who blew people like me off should be severely ashamed of themselves and give those they bullied a sincere apology at minimum. This should be followed by an amends of some type, and I can think of hundreds of ways to repay people for this, starting with helping the families of those who died due to censorship. And this book discusses what I found as the pathophysiology of COVID-19, specifically the problems spike protein causes in the body. Everything else exists in the field regarding acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, and severe acute respiratory syndrome, blood clotting, whether related to snake vimon and the effects of inflammation on the body. Simple. Coronavirus has been causing the common cold for 10,000 years. Spike protein was added via gain-of-function research, which causes inflammation and clotting in the victims. What's so neo or new about treating any of the prior conditions? Nothing. It was all about root cause. That is spike protein. Viral illnesses typically last three to seven days following a potential bacterial illness. With COVID-19, the viral phase starts along with inflammation on day one. The viral illness resolves, 
but the severe clotting and histamine storm brewing that has been going on hits the patient and breathing issues begin. Early aggressive treatment is essential, as I heard Dr. McCullough state countless times since 2020. Now, think about this. The spike protein is the payload on the missile coronavirus. Why don't we make something we'll call a vaccine and tell the body to make spike protein, method to make a vaccine ever, and, and the best way to injure, maim, or kill people in mass over time? So you program your body to make spike protein, which then causes the body to produce antibodies to the spike protein the body just made. This is the clearest example of the definition of autoimmune disease. As you can, the immune system gets confused. Spike protein causes damage where it lands, which is all over the body. I, this should also piss you off. I watched injection practices in drive up lines and on television. And not one person used proper technique to perform the intramuscular injection. They would insert needle and inject. Method is insert needle, draw back slightly on the plunger to ensure you are not in a blood vessel and accidentally give the medication intravenously. And if not, go ahead and inject. Not once did I see it properly and must have seen hundreds in various cities and on numerous video clips. I brought all this up after witnessing it starting at 20. Ah, it will be fine. We now see the results of spike protein and likely the result of getting some of the so-called vaccine directly to the bloodstream, injuring the brain, heart, and other essential organs. Speed does not mean you can sacrifice safety. Well, safety went out the window. In the text, I discuss medications and supplements, why they should be taken and how they work, and use analogies so the layperson can easier understand instead of slinging medical jargon. There is some of that, too, and some studies to back up all the usage of such items for various conditions. I do talk about the four horsemen in this four. Let's title it as such. The opinion I hold, as do most people I talk to, is that this was planned along with all the other chaos or crisis inflicted on us since 2020. Don't think it can happen. I can give you extensive history lessons on 1930s Germany and Nazi ideology that did not die or two. I look around and see that and communist tendencies everywhere I look in this police state. It would never happen in America, I'm told. I educate people about the Tuskegee syphilis experiments in the USA after World War II, where patients were not given curative and life-saving penicillin, medical ethics rewritten, and add the pandemic to the most extensive case study of unethical medical practice known to mankind with worldwide experimentation on human subject while withholding known effects, which violates not only the Nuremberg Code, 1947, but the Helsinki Accord, 1975, and the Common Rule of Biosay, 1992. Seems like we really have a short-term memory about doing the right thing. Please enjoy this audiobook and I hope you learn some things. Perhaps get angry, maybe laugh, or scratch your head. Open your mind and think about it. Logic dictates natural law, and when we violate natural law, it is simple. Trying to go against nature has created an issue throughout history.